Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be looking at where to find the web part pages in SharePoint 2013. Yes, believe it or not. This is actually the second time around in about a month or two that I blog about something similar, where to find things, they're no longer on the interface. The first one was about not being able to log in as a different user. If I go to my SharePoint 2013 site, when you hover your mouse over the account and you want to log in as a different user because you want to log in and see what they're seeing and what their experience is, you can't see that anymore. And uh, I had blocked about a workaround for how to get this back. This time around, it's a bit less serious, but still, it's big enough in my world. When I build SharePoint sites, I use web part pages to design my page layouts and add the web parts and the content across the different zones that uh, I get with the web part page, and it's super flexible. I'm not able to do that out of the box on where I you'd think you'd go to create a page in SharePoint 2013 but it's still there so let's just uh, go to SharePoint 2010 first and show you how easy it was on SharePoint 2010 so in SharePoint 2010 if I, I wanted to add a web part page I would just come in here click on site actions click more options choose my pages under pages and sites I get a web part page and I click on it and I see all the different kind of uh, layout templates that I get with SharePoint 2013. Super nice. Except here I needed to say well which document library I want to put this on. And that was sometimes confusing because you, you, you don't remember where which library the site or the page resided on. In SharePoint 2013, to our surprise, we no longer have this web part page when we go to create. So when I go to add something, first of all if I go to my uh, site content and say add an app I'm not I don't even see pages in here nothing whatsoever the only way to get to that is to go to my uh, site pages library and then from there I'll be able to see it but to add a page what you do is you click on the settings icon and then you say add a page the one nice thing about adding a page this is not a web part page this is just a native page is the fact that it puts it under site pages so if I say test 2 this is gonna actually put it under site pages but that's not what I want to create. What I want to create actually is a web part page. So, how do we create a web part page, or where do we get, where do we go to find this web part page? Simple. We're going to go to site contents. From within site contents in here, we are going to click on site pages, and then from within site pages, what you're going to notice is uh, I can only again add a wiki page. That's not what I want. So when I click on files hover my mouse over new document click on it and then select web part page here it is and I'm back at the exact same screen now one can argue that on a plain wiki page you do have the ability to change the layouts of things uh, if I wanna get just this main view the header footer three columns one on top three side navigation main and another sidebar and a footer I don't think that example exists. If I even if I just take the default, I'm not going to go through the rest of them. I'm just the default. So if I come in here and again create a page, add a page, and say uh, test three or twenty-three, and cl click on create. Here's one thing you can do: you can change this uh, text layout and say well, I want two columns, or you can come in here and say I want three columns. But again, if you look closely, our main default one is not even here that's a showstopper for me again it's not something huge but that's a showstopper for me if I wanna place information across all four different zones anyways that's how you get to the web part pages in SharePoint 2013 hopefully you found this helpful